I'm Casey D. Gardner for the Discovery Channel. We're outside the Baltimore Aquarium trying to find our fellow shark lovers to find out how much they know about sharks. I don't know. My husband would know more than me. <laughs> so today on Versus, we're testing the public's knowledge on shark eating habits versus human eating habits. Uh, eating habits, you said. Mm -hmm. I've seen uh, what, what you know what sharks can do on the Discovery Channel, so you know, it seems pretty crazy. Here we go. Who's a more ravenous eater, a growing teenage boy or a great white shark? Growing teenage boy. They eat more than just food. Teenage boys, they don't stop. They just keep snacking and snacking and snacking and snacking. And they don't always look at what they're eating either. No, that's true. Great white shark. Great white teenage shark. boy. Great white shark. The shark would eat the teenage boy. <laughs> well, <laughs> great white shark. The teenage boy wins this round. Great white sharks can go much longer than human teenagers without eating because of their slow metabolism. If a great white shark eats a large elephant seal, it's possible it may not eat again for an entire month. That would never happen with a teenage boy. That being said, both a great white shark and a teenage boy are probably always looking for a good meal. And who's a bigger garbage disposal? A bull shark who'll basically eat anything in the sea? Or a baby who'll basically eat anything on land? <laughs> well, I know babies will stick anything in their mouths, but they don't necessarily swallow it. They'll spit um, it back up. However, I do also know that uh, a number of sharks have been found with uh, even pieces of armor in their stomachs. Ew. So I'm going to have to go with a shark on this. I suppose I'll stick with the human side, the human part of the baby, huh? The shark wins this one. These sharks are actually known as the wastebaskets of the sea because they actually have been found with trash, like license plates, inside their stomach. But both sharks and babies do sample for taste, and if they don't like something, they'll just spit it out. Who's a pickier eater? A filter-feeding whale shark, or a yuppie at a really fancy restaurant? Yuppie at a fancy restaurant. Yeah, yuppie. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go with the yuppie, only yeah. because uh, the shark's gonna eat whatever it can get. <laughs> Yuppies are a bit more sophisticated. It's unanimous. Yuppies seem to be a pickier eater. Whale sharks aren't really picky eaters, they can only filter certain things like plankton and krill, whereas yuppies are actually just picky. Thanks for watching Versus. So how was your knowledge on shark eating habits? Well, if it's not up to par, visit www.discovery.com backslash shark week to get more information.